But uh, I'm trying to remember what we were working on in Satisfactory. Uh, we got, I think, rotors automated last time. Uh, I realized that I have not automated cables. I think I feel like I just need to get uh, cabling re-automated here. Uh, if I can remember, let's see. Yeah, I got cables right here, but these are not currently automated because I stopped the temporary automation of them. And one thing I was thinking about is um, uh, I can work on getting, I have everything except the steel ready for the advanced steel production. So I, I kind of want to get steel stuff going today. Um, uh, the Explorer takes those oscillators and, oh, 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 I might be able to do that. I have modular frames coming in now, right? Might be able to get the, I might be able to get the Explorer unlocked. Uh, let's see here. That's under quartz. Oh, I need a hundred. Two stacks of those. So basically all my modular frames. And ten of oscillators. Where are the oscillators? Uh, crystal oscillators. So 36 quartz crystal per. So 360 of those. Let's actually get this thing unlocked. Because uh, I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. And I feel like I remember not loving the explorer but might as well we'll get it unlocked uh i remember not loving it because um i believe it is not super good with verticality and there's so much going up and down different levels in satisfactory i feel like i didn't love it but i still like to unlock it yeah, one more of these guys Okay, let me throw, yeah, I'll just throw the excess of these in here. Okay, and I needed 50 more modular frames. So basically all the ones, almost all the ones I've already created. Okay, and that would be quartz, the sky, beautiful. So we'll have the Explorer unlocked, I need uh, the modular frame upgrades for that thing and motors for radio signal scanning. Oh, that's the thing I'll definitely want to get. All right, so I want to check something. I want to check uh, my wires and cabling here because I, I want to make sure I do have cabling automated. So where are my wires? I need to check how many wires I'm currently making. Because um, I think I'm making... I don't think I'm using all of the copper that I have access to currently. Yeah, this guy right here doesn't need to be here. Because I injected new copper and I'm using all of that. So this is a full 120 line of copper that I'm pretty sure I'm not using all of. There's 15 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 15 times 5. 75. I'm using 75 and I'm have 120 a minute so 120 minus 75 so I can do three more copper wire uh, constructors three more and how much copper wire is it for per cable so these make 30 a minute these need 60 per minute. So it takes two, two copper wire for one cable producer, it looks like. So if I do three of these, I can, I can slightly, I could either overclock one cable producer. Um, I'm already creating three different items on this floor. Do I have overflow of wire going down currently? I currently don't have overflow of wire, so... What I could do is the amount of wire I'm creating going to the floor below. 
Do I have space up above this to make uh, cabling? What do I have going on on this top floor? I think I'm already two, doing two different things, aren't I? Yeah, I'm doing doing the rotors and I'm doing the modular frames. I kind of don't want to do cabling on this floor. I want to do at most three different items on a different on different floors. Um, this floor is already doing three different items, All right? Caterium, yeah, copper sheets. And I have the overflow of all those set up. What's being done on the floor below this? What's being done on the floor below this? There's only two things on this floor. I might do that. Reinforced iron plates and the AI limiters. So I could potentially do cabling here. What about the floor below this one? Where do the items disappear if you tear off the conveyor belts? Oh, they just get backed up. They don't disappear. Oh, oh, like if I deconstruct this, they go in my inventory. They just go into here. So I picked up a bunch, I picked up a K, uh, belt with copper ingots. They went in my inventory. So this floor is doing iron rods and screws. You know what I could do? I could do, I could do the wires on this floor, cabling on this floor. Yeah, if I do cabling, so basically I make the copper wires there and I bring the cabling down to here. I think I like that idea. So if I do that, Thankfully, it doesn't disappear into the ether or something. Uh, uh, change build mode. Zoop. We're zoop mode. There we go. That would suck if you just lost materials. Then I have the next temporary solution? No. No. <laughs> I'm going to try to not do much more in the way of temporary solutions today. I'm actually hoping to change some of my temporary into permanent. So I want to get more steel stuff going today. So um, my temporary steel thing down at the bottom, I'm going to hopefully move move to the top of our current place. Um, so this floor is screws and iron, whatchamacallits. Uh, I want to add copper, uh, I want to add cables to this, which would be copper wire from above comes down to here. So it might be a little awkward to get down here, but I think we can make this work. And that would go out there. Yeah, that should work. So let's see how I want to do that. If I want to have this stuff come in from this side, I'd want to have a storage thing. Um, come in this way. Output would be right here. So I'd get a storage guy right here. Right there. Is that right? Yeah, that should be good. Uh, oh, I think that was just telling my we unlock something. All right, so this is going to be copper. Uh, copper, uh, just cables, actually. It's not, not copper, just cables. Is that right? That is a little bit off. I want it to be back one more space, so it would be right there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to send enough wire for one of these machines plus another one at 50%, I believe. This would be cable and cable. And if I do this at 50%, that should need 30 wires. So this should, this should require 90 wire per minute. So, um, and I'm bringing this from... Below or above? I think it's from below. So let me put this. So here, here, or here would work. Let's go see where the wire would be coming from. Oh, how are things going with you, zombie shop? Oh, this is the wrong. It's from above, actually, not from below. That's iron plates. I don't know what floor I'm on. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Just normal normal life for me, though. So that would be here, here, or here. Um, I hope the next level up. I think this might. I might have to bring this from two levels above. This is not... 
copper wire, is it? No, this is copper wires from over here. Okay, so let me see if it's clear for what I set up. So it looks like this is in the way of that. Um, but I can change that. I can have this be turned and go in front of that and have these go either here or here. So that would be there or there. So not this one. And let me change this. Yeah, it's a pretty quick, easy change. So do this. And I'm going to let those flow through. Okay. And we're going to have this guy be this direction. Like that. Uh, let's see here. So it'd be somewhere along like this. Beautiful. And that will let us get through here. This is pretty cool because I'm getting to like figure out how to um, using these. What are these things called? Conveyor lift floor holes. Getting to figure out how to get stuff inside my factory to go from floor to floor. This is a really cool addition. I'm glad they added these. This is output for AI limiters there. Okay. Wow, autosave lag. Whoa. Whoa, don't crash game. Oh god, are you crashing? I've never had it do this yet. Please tell me you're not crashing. Uh... Okay, I think my satisfactory just crashed. Yeah, I didn't see the autosave alert either. I think something borked. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, Unreal Process has crashed. Uh, what does it say? What was I doing? I was... I was jumping inside my factory right after changing a belt and crash there we go send and close all right well let's restart uh, I haven't done too much thankfully <laughs> that's not a great start to our day it's only our first crash and crash and satisfactory so Big lag, uh, less a lag and more a crash. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're gonna find out what we lost here. Uh, I kind of wish it saved your audio settings because I, I, I have to change this every time I log in. I have to change that. And if I hit apply, it does some weird Reload the game, but doesn't actually keep the settings. For whatever reason, it doesn't keep my audio settings, whatever. This is still an early access game, even though I have spent so many hours in it. It's still early access. Okay, I wonder if it's gonna... Oh! Oh, I lost nothing! Oh, okay, I lost changing this out. Okay, well that's... I lost close to nothing, so that's awesome. Uh, good, I lost even less than I thought I did. This, this, way to go, Satisfactory, way to go. Way to not cost me a lot of work. So it'd be here, all the way to here, there, and there. Okay. And so we're coming from copper wire from above here. There. So apparently there was a save. I don't know how it saved. Okay. All right, so this is copper wire we're trying to bring up or down. I can't even remember. Uh, I think I'm bringing it from up, bringing it down. So I need to go here. Copper wire, here it is. All right. 
So I was planning on doing two of these and one of them underclocked, I think. Actually, no. Three of these. 30 cable per minute. I was going to send 90. Uh, how much can I make? I forget. It was uh, 120 minus 75. 45. I have 45 copper a minute. So I can do three of these. Okay, yes, that sounds right. And that's what I think I set up. That. Is this game installed on a new hard drive I just put in? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So three of these guys. One, two, three. So these copper wire. How do I want to do this? We don't have any... Well, okay, we do actually have excess here. If we have excess here, why is there not overflow? Kind of strange. Okay. Um, so, how do I want to do this? These are all going to very specific places, so I think what I'm going to do is have a third belt with overflow... From here going that's gonna end up going aha right there this is this is the one right here this should work this should be doable so if I have if I have a storage thing here right there Oh, that was just a game crash, not early warning of bad sector on the new drive. God, please don't. Don't put that evil eye on me. Don't you put that evil eye on me. It's, I'm sure it was just, this is an early access game and it had a crash. That's, 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 that's nothing but that. <laughs> nothing but that, please. Is that, is that straight, is that lined up? Um, yes. Okay. Yep, cut, cut, come on, there it is. And splitter. There. This is a 60 a minute belt. Going into there. That one is wrong. Where I line this up half the time and it's not lined up. The, the green line is lying to me. You're lying to me, green line. Okay, that's right. Let me throw the copper I have into these guys. There. Alright, one, two. There. There. And this should be a full 120 a minute using copper belt going on here. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that should be 60 and 60. And let me count this up just to make sure my math is right. Hope I need to tell you what you're making. You're making copper wire. Copper wire. Copper wire. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times 15, 120. Perfect. So that uses our 120. And what I'm producing is 30 times 3. We're creating 90 copper wire a minute. And how am I going to deliver this? Um, because I have one, this one guy is supplying stuff for something. Uh, okay. My outputs are not set up super well here, actually. Yeah, I need to actually change this output. I need these, these ones, these last ones to go up and then over. So I need to change this.
The save only was a temporary solution. I don't know what that means. Um, No, uh, what level? I think we have Mark II belt here. Okay. Okay, Mark II. Yep, Mark II to there. Mark II to here. And then this guy we need to change out to be Oh that's uh, not exactly right. So one, two, there, to there. Okay, there we go. And that should allow me to have this bottom row for these guys I just made. I'm trying to remember what this copper wire is going to. It's going down to Ah, okay. It's it's supplementing this. Are these all working at 100% is the question. 100%. 100%. Okay. That's all running 100%. I don't want to change any of that. It's probably math I did previously. Believe in the math. Believe in past Rand. All right. So I need mergers. Merger, merger, merger. And actually, I don't need a merger on this first one. Okay, so this is, how much is this doing a minute? 30, it's gonna be 90 in total, so. One, two, 30. This can be 60. And this becomes a Mark II belt. Beautiful. Those are splitters. Are these spl splitters? Ha! Ah, damn it. You're right. You're right. I wonder if those will connect if I do it this way. I have a feeling I'm going to need to replace these. Never tried it this way. Let's let's find out. I swear, I get mergers and splitters split up every time. Split up, split up, uh... Mixed up. Mixed up every time, I swear. Okay, so this guy will be there. And then for these two guys, right there. And then I just need the outputs. Let's see, do these make it through? Looks like they are not making it through. Yeah. I have to replace these. They're going in, but they're not going out. For whatever reason. That's what she said, giggity. Replace all the belts. It's like when you uh, when you place mergers and then replace them with splitters. Uh, I think the ins and outs are all messed up. I'm actually perfectly out of Mark 1 belts. That's crazy. Okay, does that work? There it goes. Okay, beautiful. All right, now I need to get this up top. So I need more iron plates. Let me go pick up some iron plates from our storage. But yes, thank you, Zombie Shop. <laughs> I would have been wondering, why aren't my splitters, why aren't my mergers merging? Because they're not mergers, they're splitters. Because you're stupid, that's why. Oh, I hate it when I'm stupid. I hate it when I'm stupid. Oh, and this should be unlocked. The Explorer! Dora the Explorer! Okay. So this guy needs steel stuff, and you need motors. Which I think takes staters, which I don't have staters yet. Uh, these guys take plastic. 
Oh, I actually can do power switches. What are power switches? AI limiters I got going. You can turn power on and off? Is that a new thing? I don't know that that existed back the last time I played. You know what? I saw another thing that I unlocked. Power... Um, storage. There's power storage. I need to play with that, too. Alright, we're gonna get a power switch. Power pole mark three. I need to get the steel stuff. Alright, some of that stuff I'm not anywhere close to. Uh, reminds you of the Brian Regan conversation yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Dora the Explorer. All right. What are we doing? Uh, over there. So I need... I need to get the... Copper wire from this bottom row over there. Which will be simple enough. There's a Mark II belt. One, two. Over there. All right, and we want a an overflow guy. So the overflow will go this way and merge with these guys. And then the other stuff will go down there. Okay, so smart splitter. So overflow is in the center. Left is none. Right is any undefined. And I need to get a merger here. That's a splitter. That line up looks looks right there. There we go. So that whoops. That will be for overflow. And where we want it to actually go is over to here. And how do I want to do that? Um, so if we have this one, two, I think that should work. That would be, uh, is that going the right, I bet you that's not going the right direction. This needs to go down. Uh, yeah, R, there we go. Okay, and that needs to go there. In order to do that, I want it to turn. Uh, that. Does that look clean? Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Nice and clean, okay. So that should be copper wire on a Mark II belt. At 90 a minute. Going on through here. We're storing it in the meantime. It'll go there and then the overflow will go that way. I'm going to watch until this backs up to make sure overflow is doing what I want it to do. Make sure all the parts are working correctly. Overflow going through. And overflow should go. Overflow should go. Aha! Thought I checked it. Through here. There and out to our storage. Perfect. Beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so now that's going down. Uh, needs to go down two levels. Oops. So we do not need this one. Mark two belt. All right, so that'll bring copper wire down. Beautiful. To the next floor. Whoop, I am. Coming out right through here. Mark two belt. Right to the center. It's perfect. It's like I planned it. Totally didn't plan it. Copper wire, butamus. So this should be 90 a minute, which should be 60... Plus half of 60, which would be 30. So we're going to be making 45 cable per minute with 90 wire per minute. This is 
not calculated to be supplying a certain amount of cable for anything, but it will just give us a supply of cable. So, um, splitter. Eventually I will need this cable for probably a certain amount of cable for something cabling, but this is currently just so we have all of our parts automated for now. I want to not forget to automate some important thing. Because what this also does is, this is, every time I place like a new item, like this is now cable, the place for cable, this is going to be the floor for cable. I'm always going to be supplying wire from where I just set it up from. I will just have to increase the throughput or the production, but it's this should always be expandable what we're doing. How do I keep the overview about my factory? Like, how do I remember what I'm working on? Um, I actually need, I think there's signage. I actually need to make a sign for each floor that says what materials being made on each floor. And you know what? I might do that right after this because I, I probably, I have a lot of tickets in my awesome sink and I think the awesome sink is how you, or awesome shop is how you do that. So I actually don't have a good answer for that, but I'm going to try to make something better in, in answer to your question. Have a better, uh, better way to keep track of what I'm, what I have built on each floor. Because if we're going to be organized, we should know what, where everything is. Speaking of cabling, I'm almost out of cabling right there. Okay. All right. So this is going to be a merger. Uh, but if you're asking how I remember all the stuff I've done so far, um, I don't really have a good answer. I just kind of, I have to look at what I built on the floor and I will remember, oh, okay, that's what this floor is. I won't remember all the maths for each thing, but I can always count up the machines and see how much stuff is being produced. And that will be like my reminder for, okay, that's how much I've done. And that's what I've done on this floor, etc. Okay, so... Splitter, a smart splitter, right? Is that right? Nope, that's one over from where it needs to be. Okay, and this will be just a Mark 1 belt, because we're only making, what did I say, like 45 a minute? Yeah, 30 plus 15. So that should be 100%, and this should be at 50%. Yeah, that's 100%, but it's 50%. Okay, good. And this one we will have, currently overflow will be center. And if I want to go up, it'll be like right here. So that will be left will be any undefined and right will be none. Now currently, we're going to have stuff go there, but then it's almost all going to be overflow, which is going to go to our storage. One, two. Down at the bottom of the base. Okay, does that look... Oh, uh, that does not look straight. Okay, this placement is not good. I thought... Okay, I guess I don't know where this lines up with. So this is not here, it's here. Which is going to have some overlap with this if I don't... Oh, that's a little awkward. I'm going to have to have this go over if I don't want it to clip. And I really don't want it to clip, so... No clipping, please. So one, two, three. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. And hope that this is right. Okay, that's straight. I just need it to be above stuff. Go over all these splitter guys. There. No. Okay. All right, there we go. Not clipping through these guys eh, a little bit, but that looks like they're just part of the splitters, so I'm going to say that's good. 
Okay. All right, so now let's go figure out where the cabling, how it's going to get to where it needs to go. So that is... Oh, I fell. Ouch. So that is... I actually should start seeing it cascade down here if I set it up correctly at, at first. I should actually see cabling coming out of... Uh, I have a feeling it's the wrong direction, actually, because I think it's that one right there. What direction are you trying to... Um, no, that's... That's copper stuff. Uh, is it this one? <laughs> I have no idea which one of these it is. Actually, I just came out the side, so... Oh, there it is. It's this guy. Alright, there, there it is. Okay. So I need to get this over to... Where's my cabling? Over to here. Fun with this. Hey, what's up, Wemabola? I'm building Isengard. That's right. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. God, God, God. All right, so I need to get that over there. How can I make that happen? Do I actually already have... Yeah, I actually have this. Do I even have the overflow set up for this? I don't have the overflow set up, but I have... Um, I have... Nothing's plugged into this. So I do have a place for the overflow to go. I need it to come in through here. I actually think this is not quite set up the way I want it to be. Where's the input? Input. Okay, that's the input. That's the output. Okay. This is totally not spaghetti. This is so spaghetti right now, actually. Um... Is there any way to make this less spaghetti? This is the part of the build. Like, I really like what's going on up there. Once it gets down here, it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, just, just a bit of a mess. Um, let's see here. If I have it come across. <laughs> What if I have that? That's lined up with that, so that doesn't work well. I can have it fit right through here. Oh my god, that's going to be so... <laughs> oh, such a mess. One, two. I go like this. I wanted to come from oh, uh, yeah. There's a little clipping going on there. One, two. So if I do this, a little clipping, and that's a little clipping too. All right, I would want this to go over a little bit then. Actually, maybe I can figure it out this way. Two. The bear belt is too steep right there, huh? I do it like that. Oh, that might actually not be too bad. Although it's not quite the shape I want it to be, though. That is not quite the shape I want it to be. Put it about there, I think. What if it's there? How's that? That's straight. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. It's spaghetti and a little bit of clipping, but I think that's about the best I'm gonna get. I would have to do a major re rework of my storage area if I don't want there to be so much spaghetti. Future end problem. Cause I like I have this thing where we have this cascading three outputs to the sides one in the middle but then it comes down and then my storage goes to the side because my storage is here going this direction i kind of think if i want to actually get all this organized what i'm eventually going to have to do if i keep this is have my storage go that way go this way here 
and I probably will need to have like three rows. One row from the middle guy, one row from the left side, one row from the right side going down that way. But my coal power is kind of in the way, so that's a future RAN problem. Guess it's a future range problem. For now, this is doing what I need it to do. And I can have my overflow. I think barely snake through here. I think. Uh, if I change this one, I will be able to do that one. So we want this one to be up one space. So let's do this. This. Let's do the uh, copper cabling first so we line this up correctly. There. There's that. There's not. Uh, screws are a little bit clipping, but it's fine. But that sets up the overflow for the cabling. And then the quick wire that we had needs to be above this. That's a mark two. So mark two, like that, should not overlap. Okay, yeah, so if I just raise this up two spaces, that should be perfect. Right there. How does that look? It's actually straight and has a clean turn, so it might be cluttered, but it's actually doing what I want it to do. Might be cluttered, but every single item that is coming out of my factory is going to storage and the overflow is going into, as you can see, going into here. So we are creating these coupons. Let's print 20 coupons and let me see if we can get... Um, Signage. I want to get signs. Hey, what's up, uh, Miyagi? How are you doing? All right, I want signs. I also want structural frame sets, but signs I want first. Do I have signs? Label sign bundle, display sign bundle. Interesting. Two by five, and this is two by two, up to two by three. Which one do I want? Maybe I just get both. Why not both? So that's seven. I want this, which is 10. So I have three left. These pillars look cool. Uh, so I can get, oh, frame pillar set and metal pillar set. So I can get, wow, there's some cool stuff in here. Modern railing. Industrial railing road barrier. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Uh, so is that 17? So I can get three more worth of stuff. Is there anything? Indoor lighting. Oh, that could be good. A lights control panel. Let's get indoor lighting. Does that take power? I'm going to guess it probably takes power. Um... Uh, Let's see what we got here. Labels, ceiling lights. Okay. Let me get a new row to put this stuff on. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I got something else, right? I got the Explorer unlocked. Architecture. I got these frames, so let's do a new thing for the frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, these take steel. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get these earlier. Okay, glass frame foundations. I wanted to see if I could use these once I unlock these. The reason I got this, can I cover up my pipes with glass frames? Because that's what I really want to do. Can I... I wanted to cover up my half pipes with the glass frames so I could see the pipes through them. Uh, is there a way to do halfway? 
Let me see. I feel like there's probably a way to do this. Yes! Oh, that's cool. Now, now I can walk on top of my pipes. And they're just going through these glass frames. Sweet! That's cool. I'm setting this up on this entire thing. That's really cool. Exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, why does it zoom on this? This is we're doing this all the way down. All the way down. Did somebody ask for a pun? One moment, please. Oh, God. <laughs> why? Why would you... Why would you do such a thing? Okay. I'm hoping the overlap doesn't make it look too weird with other stuff. And I'm gonna do just to this direct this this length, because that's where my piping currently ends. But do I like that? I do. This lets me walk on here. Can I walk underneath it? And I can walk underneath it. It'll be hard to get between pipes, but I like that. You didn't start at this time. <laughs> well you sure didn't. Uh hesitate in agreeing to it. <laughs> I did not agree to this, though. Okay, how far down does this go? It goes down to there. And, come on, right there. Do there. Now, I feel like I'll probably want to eventually do a better, a more organized thing, but I like this. Because we can see the pipes and we can walk on top of it. I think that's cool. Later on, when we get into oil stuff, I feel like I want to do more with glass and half pipes. Glass and half pipes with pipes inside of them, because then I feel like we can make some really cool looking stuff. Your wife refuses to go to a nude beach with me. You think she's just being clothes minded. <laughs> Please, we have to go on record for liking puns. We have to. Right, that looks great. I like that a lot. That glass there, that's really cool. I'd make it go down further, except when I install more pipes, it'll be hard with the with the glass. So this is... The glass looks cool. I don't know that it's going to be great for, um, you know, increasing... Um, you know, like expanding this later, but that's awesome. Well, we can play more with glass pipes later. I think our coal power looks awesome. Looks really clean. Things going through the floor in a clean way. All right, this power line. It kind of bugs me. How many different places is it going? It's going there. Okay, I'm moving this power line. It's just, it's bugging me. So it's connected to three things. Connected to that. That guy and this guy over here. Okay. Let me fix this power line before it drives me insane. I'm gonna depower like half my factory. Uh, were you not just connected to that? Oh my god, what were you connected to? Maybe you were connected to this. there and this guy's through the floor too now you know what that one I'm not gonna let bug me okay is everything plugged back in yeah you can see all of a sudden my power just bottomed out but we're back we're good you're not good at thinking up a pun. A professional can do it much better. Is that what Wambo Wambambola is? A professional punster? There you go, Wambambola. That's your that's your title. You are a professional punster. Okay, is everything going back to what it was? Yeah. Our current max is 951, and we're running at 710. I'm going to have to probably expand my power. I think I have one more power expansion with coal left in me, because I have one more pure coal vein plenty of water but it's the coal vein that I'm worried about so let's do um what else did I unlock signs I want to do signs all right so how do I want to do this 
What's my largest sign? Looks like this one. What I want this sign to say is first floor, uh, whatever. First floor, lingerie, uh, sporting goods. Oh, I'm glad I've got this quartz crystal uh, automated because uh, we need this for the signs, apparently. All right, so how do I want to do this? I'm probably going to have to make one big long sign if I want to get like everything. Do these like connect to each other? Shenanigans! <laughs> what is this? All right. Can I have a no image? Wow. This is crazy. All right. Um, I would thought I would just be putting words on here. Text shenanigans. First floor. Uh, iron plates. Um, is there any way to make this smaller? Hmm. Other? What's other? Oh, is that a select image other? Is there no... <laughs> uh, X? I can't remove an image. It doesn't seem... I have a nothing image. I want it to just be all text. Hey, what's up, Grandpa Drox? How are you doing? This? Well, that's a nun. That's a background. I can have a background of none. I can have an icon of none. And a color of just all black. Okay. If I do that, and I have my text, first floor iron plates. I've never used these before. Uh, so is that was that the text color that I just changed? First floor iron plates. Okay, so it looks like icon and text are the same color. All right. So it looks like I can't just make on this sign it be all text. Let's let's mix with some other signs. Are they all going to have Yeah, okay, they're all going to have that. Interesting. Okay. So there's less um, there's less um, editing power with this than I was kind of expecting, but that's okay. Let's put it right behind the ladder. So this first floor, let's do the biggest floor though. Oh, it takes, uh, it takes different amounts of stuff there. Okay. Um, so this one takes 10. This is going to be iron plates. Select image. Text. First floor. Iron plates. Let's do that. Okay. Save sign settings. Beautiful. Currently, that's all on the first floor. The idea of a sign saying one floor, whatever makes you laugh. <laughs> I can choose a layout without picture. Where's the layout? A layout. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. So I want this. I do want this for every floor. What I want. Uh, if I'm walking up here and I want to see what floor is my something on. Here we go. Let's change this layout. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Captain Chaos. Appreciate that. So this. Okay. 
I definitely don't want orange as my color. Let's go like a blue. Okay. And no image. And it's going to be first floor iron plates. Is there a way to change the text size? Maybe it'll auto adjust second floor something, third floor something, fourth floor something. Looks like it's auto adjusting. Fifth floor something. Save. So it looks like, okay, it's interesting. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to maybe only do three floors per sign. So maybe what I do is I go first floor at the bottom and then work my way up. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me do this. Emission strength. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Glossy. Let's make it glossy. All right, uh, so we're gonna do three floors per sign. Is this gonna be big enough text that I can read as I go up? This is gonna go really high. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I want the sign at the bottom. I don't know, but I can copy and paste, so. All right, so the way we're gonna do this is Go like this. First floor, iron plates. Second floor is something. And third floor is something. I have to figure out what is on these somethings. Save settings. The first floor, iron plates. Second floor is going to be three different things. It's going to be difficult to read when higher up. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Let's go figure out what's on each floor first, and then I'll maybe figure out how to do this. I don't like that orange color. Let's make it, let's just go with blue. I like blue. How's that? Uh, it didn't save, apparently. Select color, save sign settings. Okay, kind of a bluish purple, it's fine. Okay, first floor iron plates, second floor. And where do I have this? I have this in the middle of right here. So that would be this. I believe like that. Is that how I have it? Yes, that looks right. And this is uh, iron rods, screws, and cable. All right. Let's see. So something like this. Select. Do I want an image? Um, sure. And let's see if I can do all three things. Iron rods, screws, uh, cables. There we go. Be nice if I could do multiple signs. Is that is that are these just called cables or are they called copper cables? These are called cables. Okay. Uh, what did the ranch say when somebody opened the refrigerator? Hey, close the door. I'm dressing. Nice, nice. All right, iron rods, screws, cables. Okay. So second floor iron rod screws cables. This is organization stream. Iron rods, screws, cables. This is This is not going to be easy to read this way. Uh, <laughs> I really wish I could change the font size. Is there really no way to change the font? Layout. Shenanigans. Element settings. 
It just does not look like there's any way to change the font size. Okay, all right. Well, let's go up to third floor. And can I see this from my ladder? I can. Iron rod, screws, cables, and I'll be able to look across down here. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be right there. And this is reinforced iron plates. Yes. And rotors. AI limiters. Okay. Reinforced iron plates and AI limiters. Okay. Do, 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 do. Did I, um, I didn't put what floor it is though. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so image is reinforced iron plates. All right. Reinforced iron plates, AI limiters. Okay. Ooh, okay, all right. So that's third floor. Reinforced iron plates, AI limiters. Okay, third floor. Reinforced iron plates, AI limiters. Oh man, that does not look good at all. <laughs> Maybe I should just do one small sign for each floor. I feel like I feel like this is just not gonna look good. So if I did like the half sign, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit a bunch of stuff on here, am I? Um, lay out this element settings, this. We got we got to be organized, man. We got to be organized. So I'm taking my time to do this. First floor, maybe colon, iron plates. Okay, all right. And if we go, second floor was. Oh, I already forgot. Uh, iron. Okay, iron. Let's see. Lay out this. Whoops. Uh, second floor was iron bars. Is that what they're called? Iron poles, bars, whatever. Um, screws and cables. Iron bars, screws, cables. Okay, that's 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 a little better. What if I always... What if I did this? That's better. There we go. I think that's better. I can see the floor and then the items. That's much better. Okay. Third floor was reinforced iron plates and something. Uh, lay out this. Colors, this, and third floor, reinforced iron plates, and it was AI limiters. There we go. Yeah, I think I can work with that. Thanks, Shogi. <laughs> The colors are not exactly the same. It's probably going to drive me crazy. I'll fix that later. All right. First floor, floor iron plates. Second floor. Oh, I need to put on second floor. I did put first floor, but I did not put. Okay, so we just change this to text. First floor. There we go. Beautiful. That's not first floor, though. That's second floor. <laughs> <laughs> Second floor. Very good. 
Iron rods. Did I put bars? I put bars, didn't I? It's iron rods. Iron rods. I can never remember what those things are called for whatever reason. Okay, iron rod screws cables. Go up the ladder. Iron rod screws cables. Good. Reinforced iron place iron limiters. Let's put third floor. Okay, this is working. This is working. Maybe not the most innovative thing ever, but should be clear and legible. Third floor, reinforced iron place AI limiters. Good. Fourth floor. Uh, is copper wire, quick wire, and copper sheets. This fourth floor, right? Okay. Over there somewhere. Uh, copper wire. And it's gonna be fourth floor. Copper wire. Quick wire. Copper sheets. Oh, that goes off of the... Uh, why you gotta go off the image, though? Oh, God. Why can't I change the text size? This is so annoying. Uh, okay, copper sheets is now one word. Because otherwise it flies off the thing. Okay. Right, is quick wire one word or two words? Let me check. It is one word. Lowercase. Okay, cool. Sadly, copper sheets is now two words. Uh, is now one word. Okay, fourth floor, copper wire, quick wire sheets. Let's uh, put that on our sign. I need a ladder just to place these things. Okay. This guy uh, layout is no image. And this is fourth floor. Copper wire, quick wire, copper sheets. That one is fine. Okay. Okay. Better than maxing the character count on a train station and still not filling the sign. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, that's going to get hard to read the higher this gets. I might like have it go like five rows and then go over and then go over. So like one through five. 6 through 10, 11 through 15, something like that. All right, what's the next floor? So second floor. Third floor. Fourth floor. Fourth fall. All right, only one more level we have right now. Come on. Oh, come on. I need to get better vertical movement in my factory. I need to get... Uh, Honestly, vertical movement in the factory is always a little funky, I feel like. Okay. So, this guy. This is fifth floor, and it is... Not making stuff. What? Oh, huh. Not getting enough screws. Uh, so this is rotors. Rotors and modular frames. Fifth floor, rotors, modular frames. Okay, this guy. There. Uh, oops. Cancel. This is this one. Rotors. Fifth floor. Rotors. Modular frames. Okay. All right. Fifth floor, rotors, modular frames, jump down, put one more sign. And we are semi-organized. More organized than I've been in some other games, that's for sure. All right, so this one. There. Um, no, I don't want an image, I want layout this. 
fifth floor, rotors, modular frames. Okay, there we go. Now I can figure out where I need to go for the stuff I'm working on, so that's good. I can also maybe use this as a quick list on, okay, what do I need to work on next? Um, I think I'm also gonna do this. Another ramp here. I need concrete. I'm gonna make it so that I think I am gonna have these signs go to the right. So the next sign will be right there and it'll go six through 10, then 11 through 15. I think that'll be better than me trying to see, uh, what's up there? My eyes are old, I can't see. So just to remind myself, I'm gonna put sixth floor here and lay out this color this and say sixth floor okay there we go um okay i almost want to do different colors with the different things too you know i think i am going to do that so this is iron plates let's do some like bluish color this is iron rods. Let's do like a darker steel color. So like something like, uh, no, I want like a gray or a color. Yeah. I didn't save, damn it. Maybe something like that. Yeah, so that color. Reinforced iron plates is a brighter steel color. Maybe like that. And then copper wires, a copper color. Um, like something like a dark, something like that. Copper wire, yeah, that makes it more differentiated, I like. Rotors are um, similar to copper, but we'll make it like brighter, I guess. like rotors like that there we go i feel like that'll be a little easier to read hey what's up here mountain i got the rig back up and running i did i did i had to um had to go buy a new uh hard drive but i got it i got it set up pretty darn quickly all right so stuff is all backed up and stuff should be flowing into here i have my fastest uh, best things there. All right, so the thing I think I want to do next is I think I want to get steel. So sixth floor, I think, is going to be steel stuff. Let me look. Is there any stuff I want to automate before I get into steel? Are there any things that I haven't automated that I want to automate? Every single one of these things, I don't have those. I have these three. Concrete. Do I want to put concrete inside... You know what, I think I'm gonna hold off on putting concrete inside of my um, factory until I do encased industrial beams, which needs that. The quartz crystal and silica. I don't think I care about doing those yet. Spiked rebar, color cartridge. I don't think those are needed for anything um, that are like high, volume production so i think i like what i have already done for that stuff i have modular frames rotors reinforced iron plates i don't have fabric or black powder but i do have ai limiters these two guys these are not needed for anything that i'm making yet although they do unlock my phase two i'm not going to do those yet because I'm pretty sure I want to make those closer to whatever I would use those for. So I think I like what I have automated and I think I'm ready to go to steel. Hey, what's up, Con? So good to see you, my friend. So sixth floor is going to be steel stuff. I think I'm going to just have steel, uh, sixth floor be... Maybe I do do concrete on sixth floor because I could do steel plates, steel pipes, and concrete potentially. 
that might be what I do. And if I do it that way, since I already have a space for concrete, I might do concrete first. Because that concrete would come out of this far side. And I could bring it down to over here. Yeah. So concrete. And that would allow me to do encased industrial beams, which is, I think, have I even unlocked that yet? Yeah, that, that will be unlocked once I have the steel beams. And I think that's going to be concrete plus steel beams, I'm pretty sure. So yes. Yes, let's do that. So concrete and case industrial beams. Um, so let's go get our sixth floor started. Yeah, I know I need them for the space elevator. I know. But I also need one other thing that I can't build yet. So I'm probably going to do, do all three of those things on the same floor. And I'm not going to start on that floor yet because I don't have even that other thing unlocked yet. Uh, you're in this weird place where you create a huge new building for your mega factory, but now you're intimidated by the space and don't know where to start. Ugh. Um... Start at the very beginning. It's a very great place to spark. Start. It's a spark. I can't even talk. Isn't there a song? Start from the beginning. It's a really great place to start. I don't know. I Just start with iron plates. That's what I do. I always start with the beginning first thing. And then don't get intimidated. Just uh, why you have to be so mad? Just build a factory. Don't why you have to be so scared. Just, just build a factory. It's only a game. Here, I'll help you. Don't be scared. Did that help? No? Okay, that's all I got. Alright, let's go. So this is going to be one, two, three. And let's get our oh, fall damage on. Alright, let's build another uh, thing so I don't fall off of that. Start in the middle. <laughs> that's the way to go. The greatest tip ever. Start in the middle so that way you have no place to go but down. Wait, what? If I go like this, I think I have this to be exactly double, uh, double whatever the zoom length is, which is or zoom length is, which is like twenty or something like that. Oh, it's actually one extra, I think. Uh. It did help. You prior military, so just do it works. Okay, that was helpful. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. In the in immortal words of Shia LaBeouf, just do it. Nothing to it but to do it. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to get my power lines here. So that would be right here, I believe. Can't go wrong with some inspirational speeches from Shia LaBeouf. Just can't go wrong. You have uh, actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Um, is that one in the right place? I feel like this one's... Is that right? Right in the middle there? Oh. Okay. Is that where all of them were? Huh. Okay, they are. Okay, so it's in the middle of that. Which I thought I lined it up with that. So it looks like I lined it up with the middle of that. Okay. It's not that, it's that. Get it, get it right. You'll just do it. Alright, good. Good, I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'm so helpful all the time. So that would be it. There. Okay. There we go. Alright, so. Uh, 
that, that. Uh, stuff's coming out from right here, so that would be this. All right, so I want concrete first, and then I want steel plates, because those two go together. So the first thing that we're going to have is the input. No, I want this to be output. So this will be the output line. Chest is on this row. So... Is that right? That is not right. I'm pretty sure the sideways line is right, but the uh, inline one's not right. There we go. That looks correct, yeah. That little beam straddled by that center line there. Right, so this is going to be the output of concrete. I'm going to set up my overflow already. Make sure I have that right in the middle. I'll do a start with a Mark II belt. Smart splitter. Oh, I had the wrong thing there. There. Upgrade this Mark III if we need to. Smart splitter. Overflow will be center. Right will be any undefined. Left will be none. And this will be concrete. Going to there. Okay, so I'm going to need to get my limestone all the way over here. Steel, we already almost have where we need to go. And actually, I'm currently making the concrete on site. Do I want to make the concrete in my base? I feel like I want to send limestone. Mm. I almost feel like... Concrete and limestone, like... I do my on-site smelting. I almost feel like concrete is the smelting for limestone. So maybe I don't even want to do the concrete on-site, honestly. What's the difference between FTL and Satisfactory? <laughs> Satisfactory can't get shot with missiles. That's a pretty big difference. True. It's quite true. On-site concrete makes sense because it saves belt space. Yeah. So I'm setting up concrete on this floor, but I kind of think I don't want to do concrete in the factory. I think I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, which is concrete on site. And then we just send it up to the floors we need it to. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Because three limestone for one concrete, it just seems a lot better to produce the concrete off site. So this is still fine because this can be the output of our steel beams. Although, steel beams going left, is that going to be an issue? I kind of want my steel beams to go in the middle and my steel pipes to go to the right. Is there anything I want to put on this floor that would go out this way? Trains you get even more for because it stacks higher. Oh, it's stacking higher on uh, concrete and limestone and all that? Okay. Well, that's cool. I can see the animal down there. He's a little jittery, but the draw distance is really good in this game. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll just, we'll do, this is going to be steel beams. And then we'll probably pump concrete up to the floor above this for encased industrial beams is probably what we'll do. All right. All right, so let's get steel started. How many generators do I have? Uh, I believe it's 16. Yeah, two banks of eight. Actually, it might be 32. Is it two double banks of 16? Yeah, it's 16, exactly. I'm going to expand that to 24, probably, after I do this next build, because I'm a little worried about my... Uh, um, ...ounce of things. Okay, so I was going to do output on this side, so that means imp input would be here. So steel would come in through here. I'm a little bit worried about my power consumption. 
Especially some, since I'm about to add a bunch of... Um, uh, whatever the things are after constructor, constructors. I think it's assemblers or assembly machines or something like that. Wish there was a middle point between the current fog and zero fog. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I probably can. I could guess that zero fog could make some machines kind of explode and die. All right, so we're gonna do assembly machines. No, it's not assembly machines. These are constructors. I just need so. Trying to remember. Let me see, do I have these right? Do I have a floor? Yeah, if it's going out, so it needs to be right here. At that level there. So the third space over is where the constructors are. Which means I think I put my material input on the wrong space. No, no, that's right, that's right. Third one over. So constructor probably starts right here. Output would be this. Is that right? That looks good. Zero fog is fine, but it doesn't look very good. Oh, oh, you're saying you don't like the look of no fog. Gotcha. All right, so steel's gonna need to come up here. Okay, and the output's gonna be there. All right, so how much of these things are we gonna do? Steel beams. Ooh, that's a lot of steel. Okay. I think I have a single line of 120 steel. No, I have a single line of like 45 steel. God, I need a lot of steel. Um, where's foundry? I think it was 45 a minute, right? I only have 45 steel a minute right now, right? Goodness, that is not enough steel. If I did two of those, I could do... <laughs> I need two foundries. Wait, how many foundries do I have? So that's 30 plus 60. So 90 steel per minute is two foundries worth of steel. I need to go find out how much steel I can get access to. I think I might need to overclock some coal. I know I have at least one more iron vein I can get. I need to go check how much steel I have, ha have and how much I can get. So I definitely need more than I have right now. Which is gonna mean some more belts. And more Mark II belts. And more Mark I belts. Okay. At least I have lots of materials being made. I like that. Alright, let me throw some junk away that I don't need right now, which is this quartz crystal. Throw you there. Extra copper sheets I don't need. I think those are all the power shards. I might actually need to go slug hunting to overclock some uh, some more um, miners. Because the one thing, I think I did this in my last game, I don't like to do a ton of overclocking, but the thing I do like to overclock are my, my sources, my, my miners. Although getting Miner Mark II would help that too. I'm about to unlock Miner Mark II, aren't I? I think all I need... You know what? What if I just... Yes. Okay. I'm going to make this stuff myself. I have a bunch of steel. Let me make steel pipes real quick. I'm going to... Grab from my temporary thing here. Uh, where is it? Where's the other temporary thing? This guy. I'm gonna make pipes real quick. I'm gonna unlock Mark II miners. I think Mark II miners are gonna be a big help here. So I need 200 of these. 200? Yeah, 200. A little bit of 
manual crafting just because we need a lot more steel and in order to get more steel mark two miners i think are going to be a big deal because i think mark two miners on a pure vein gives you 240 instead of 120 is that right and then my not having a lot of power slugs is not going to be as big a deal is that right? Is it 240? I think it's double what the Mark 1 does. And I have Mark 3 belts, which is 270 a minute. So we have we have the infrastructure to be able to support that. So we definitely want, want to make this happen. Definitely. Definitely want to make this happen. Definitely. Hopefully I have enough rotors made already for this. The 200. I have everything else. All right. Okay, I need a lot more steel. Let's just grab it off the belt ourselves. I thought I had a storage thing of something at one point. It's probably... Was it steel? I have some... No. I think what I was going to do is I was going to do a storage for steel, but then I thought, no, I'm just going to make the steel plates because that's what I need. This is not the fastest way to do this. <laughs> Steel harvesting, I know. All right, let me just get 100, and I think it'll be enough to finish, I think. Okay. I'm a steel harvesting. Oh, that's going to be 3 to 2 ratio. I think that's enough. I don't know. It's math. I think it's actually not enough. I think I need a little bit more. All Every 3 creates 2. Such a weird random number. Ah, I was 1 off. Okay, so I need 2 more steel. Let's go grab two steel real quick. There. All right, and this will unlock Mark II miners. I have a feeling I'll probably need steel pipes to make the miners, but we'll find that out. All right, there's 200. I need 200 rotors and 300 of this. And 1,500... Um, Copper wire. One, two, three, and I have an extra stack for us. Okay, there we go. Bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. Kwabushka, that's a GG cookie time. We have advanced steel production, or GG milka time. As well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is. Oh, maybe possible. that's the power thing I was thinking of. I saw power storage. Yeah. All right. What do we unlock? Miner Mark Two. Normal extraction rate sixty per minute. Normal one twenty per minute. So I think pure. It's going to be a lot better. Okay. Two miners, ten modular frames. I actually need encasing gestural beams for this. So I need to get um, some steel pipes and some encasing industrial beams to make those. Can I do miner E and get mark two? Yes. So I can do just like the belts and not have to put that on my bar. Probably what I should do is put the mark two on my bar because we're probably just going to always use the mark two. Okay. What else do we unlock here? Uh, nothing in logistics, nothing in storage, foundations, I think it was mainly just the miner guy, right? Okay. Alright, so I need to make some more of these pipes. It's 20 per Mark II miner. You know what I should do? I should change one of these guys over from being... 
I, I have since I have so many of these guys now. I should have one of these guys just making me steel pipes. So again, this amazing temporary thing. We're gonna temporarily change it to a different temporary thing. Um, and I'll put a storage guy on top of this guy and say, give me the steel pipes. Damn, it doesn't fit there. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is such a mess. Don't worry, everybody. This temporary thing is eventually going to be up on the floor that I'm about to work on. So this will totally not be... This this mess will not be the permanent thing. I promise. It's temporary. It's all temporary. So temporary. Nope. Um, that. That. Alright, so that'll give me the steel pipes. So steel pipes and iron uh, and steel beams. And what I want to do is be able to make Mark II miners. Which, let me have two auto miners on me. I need some more of those rods. One and two. And we'll need some modular frames. Get a stack of those guys. He gets 10 per miner. No, not take all. Sort. I'm going to need some of these guys. I love having this storage this this just all of my stuff right next to each other i love i love this i love it i love it i want to make what i can of this and then throw the steel into one of these other guys throw that there okay and so every 20 of these is going to be one auto one mark ii miner and I basically want to upgrade my miners, I think, is what I want to do. My, at least upgrade my miners for my steel production. Because we need to have a lot more steel production than we currently have to get any decent amount of actual steel stuff. So um, that's enough for two auto miners. Not for two Mark II miners. I think I'm going to let that run. How's my power doing? 51. We're getting close. You know what? I think while I'm waiting for my uh, steel pipes to be made, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do an upgrade to my power. I'm a little worried about my power because I'm pretty sure foundries take a pretty good chunk of power. And since I'm waiting for more of those anyway, I think this is a good time to do one more line of eight. Um, what are you guys called? Uh, coal generators, because I have that coal right there available. So let's get this set up. Um, And by the time this is done, hopefully I remember what I was wanting to do, which was go get more steel. Because definitely steel, I feel like, is very power hungry. I mean, most every every tech tree, you know, next tech tree level you go is going to eat more power, obviously. So getting into steel, we definitely need to make sure we're not low on power. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough power. Okay. So, eh, boo, 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 boo. let's line up the actual generators first. What we're going to do is have another line of coal coming across here. I actually don't need that little coal thing there. That shouldn't be there. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I can throw this into the next one we make. Alright, so coal generator. How do we have these set up? We have it set up so that the coal inputs are across from each other. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm out of cables. Oh, good thing I just got those automated then. Where, where, are, your cable, where, my, where are my cables at? Here they are. Get this coal out of my inventory. Get it out. Don't want it. Okay. All right. Coal generator. So how how much space am I putting between these guys? One, two, three, about three chunks of space. Okay. So that would be about... About there? Does that look right? I, if I get this first one right, I can measure it from there. I think that's actually one too wide. Let me get a power pole and put it on the ground, and I can tell from that. So that. Yeah, that's one too wide, I think. Okay, so a little bit closer. So one two, I think, is how this is. I think that looks right. That looks right. Right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so it's two, basically two spaces apart from each other. And not walking on the glass is going to be... I, I kind of want to place the glass so I can... Actually walk on it and be able to place these easier. One, two. Damn it. Oh, jeez. Sometimes the placement of these things is crazy hard. Two. Come on. Up, up one. There. There we go. Is that right? Are these lined up with each other? Perfect. Okay. I, just so I can place these easier, I actually am going to go like this. I'm going to place this glass so I have something to walk on. There we go. Alright, and I need uh, three more on each side, so... So, one, two. Where's my green line? Right there. One, two. Is that lined up? Oh, man. This first one isn't even lined up. No wonder I can't get this right. Man, big machines are hard to place where you want to place them. Especially when you keep frickin' falling off on... You know what? Okay. It's gonna be easier to get the one on this side because... I can't... The closer you are to the machine, the harder it is to place. So this one, I know, is correct. Five. Green line. One, two... There. One... Two. One, two. Green line. Okay. I think that's right. Let's make sure these all look lined up. That's lined up with those. Beautiful. And that is four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to remove that. Last frame, all the way down. I can walk on this. Okay. One, two. Green line. Ugh, Jesus. There. One, two. One, two. That is one. 
two, three, four. That should be that should be right. I believe that is right. You all lined up. You're all lined up. You're all lined up. Perfect. Okay. I try building from on top of the machines. Now that I got him, I probably don't need to, but uh Interesting. Maybe next time we do that, that will be easier. So if I like went from here. Oh, that's a good idea. If I see that green line. Well, it's still kind of a difficult perspective, but that might be better. Okay. Um, all right. Coal lines. So this is a Mark II coal belt, right? Mark II. So how am I going to do this? I kind of want to change this so that every time I add a new one, I can stack it on top. Because currently, it's a little funky how I have it. But these splitters are already in place. What would I do to change that? I would just make it so that the first now this is stack this guy. No, no, no. Okay, I can use this. All I gotta do is stack here. Stack this pole. Stack this pole. To here. There. And then this goes all the way across. To... here I think and that'll go down to a splitter that will be right here um, I kind of feel like I want to get my piping set up first no no I think we can get this set up first uh, so that would be and how did I get my splitter set up before when I uh, didn't have this glass floor I think I had to use elevated uh, what you call it? Uh, belts or the uh, belt? Oh god, I can't even think of words right now. Okay, yeah. So I, what I want is just splitter, right? That direction. Is that right? Perfect. That is perfect. Splitter. The double green line. Very nice. Man, this is so much easier with the glass floor. I love it. You're using splitters a lot. You're also in the initial stages of the game. Use them instead of the stackable conveyors. Also, you can use them to make right angle turns instead of using the normal supports. Yeah. Okay. There. There, there, and there, and these use how much coal per minute? I don't think it's more than 60, so I think I can do Mark 1 belts going in there. There, 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 and there. Okay, so that'll be the coal. Now I need to bring the coal in. Stackable pole. There. There. And there. Okay. And so that I'm going to bring in. I think I can bring that in from this angle right here. Should be no problem. Is that right? There's going to be a little bit of overlap there. 
Is that going to bug me? You know what? I probably bring it the, in the other side because I think that will bug me with the, if I have that clipping and overlapping. So I'm going to put. Put a guy here, and we're going to have this last coal vein deliver there. Okay. After we get the coal, then we'll have to do the water. But one thing at a time. So this coal right here, I want to bring it... I don't want to stack it on these other guys. This is not exactly even, so how about this? We'll bring it in over here. There. And I'll remove those. Okay, so this is Mark II belt. And I can I could actually upgrade these to Mark uh, II miners if I need more coal. I think I'll wait for that. That'll be a future Rand thing. A future Rand can deal with that. Because I don't think I need the throughput of a Mark II belt yet. Uh, of a Mark II miner yet. I'm hoping I'll be able to swap to oil power before I do. Before I need to do another power upgrade. So I'm pretty sure oil power is just more like efficient and stuff. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? In a way that's not ugly. Go above this guy. Yes, let's do this. I'm going to do a vertical guy. Right here. Right, which one? Can I do the first one? Let's do from the middle one. That looks... Oh, that's going through the floor, isn't it? Okay, let's do it this way. Even though it's a little awkward, go around, but that's fine. I don't want it going through the floor. To belt. A little bit of overlap there. I'm not gonna let that one bother, bother me. It's this is temporary. It's all temporary, everybody. Remember, remember. If anything looks bad, just tell yourself that's eh, temporary. It's just temporary. Okay. Mark two belt goes from here to there. All right. Okay, looks good. So there's the coal. So that should be the coal supply. No jetpack yet. No. I'm pretty sure you don't get jetpack until you unlock oil stuff. And I am not to oil stuff yet. A little bit of clipping on these guys, but that's all fine. Let's get our power lines set up for the actual generators. Biggity lag. So that would be this guy. Over to these guys. Do I have it on this line? I think I have it like right here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's a that's a. F I think you even have to power jetpacks with like jet fuel or something. It sure would be nice though, but we're still I think I I think I need tier five six, which is complete objective phase two at the top right of my screen that I haven't done yet. Yeah, standard fuel. Just hide the spaghetti, it's right, it's all behind the walls, it's fine. Alright, so that's the coal, so now we need to get the water piping. So Um First one's right 
here. So what I need to do is, I don't have these other pipes connected, right? I have a separate pipeline for each one of these, I believe. Make sure I'm correct about that. So I want to do it the same way I did it before, because but the way I fixed it, the water's been not an issue. So yes, it's coming in here, and it's separate from the first water pipe. Okay, perfect. So... We deconstruct this guy right here. This little pipe segment. Um, I hope that doesn't mean this is not getting water. Did I just unplug you? No, I think you're still getting water. I think you're good. Okay. And actually, I don't even need this little thing. Right? Yeah, I actually just need this to go like this. This guy to go... Um, it's up to there. So, one, two. And then we want noodle mode, I believe. Nope, I didn't. It's not noodle mode. It was something else. Which way did I have it? Not that. Where's all the vertical? Was that what it was? I feel like it was either auto or noodle. Maybe it's auto. Is it that one? It's actually not looking exactly the same as the others, but it's probably because it's... Yeah, it's fine. It's probably because I'm not coming off of a, a junction, but that's fine. Alright, so... And then the next one would come off right... Ooh, how's, how did I not overlap these other ones? Let me go check how I didn't overlap. Where's the start of the next one? Okay, so it came through the middle. Yeah, so it came through the middle and then immediately junctioned off there. Okay. So that's gonna be, so the pipe is gonna come through right here and plug into God. I'm stuck under the glass now. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is okay. This is going to be a little tight here if it's coming through here and it's got to immediately go up right there. Then I'm going to have to go something like this, I think. Might be able to do that. Once the pipe comes through, if I have a long pipe segment here, then I think I can place a T junction on there. Let's just have the pipe go through here. It's going to go to there. So, if that guy is right there, one, two. Then I think I can go like up to you. I feel like I was doing noodle before, but it looks like auto looks closer to what I was doing. Have I done anything with Caterium? Oh yeah, I got AI limiters going. I'm using smart, smart splitters. Um, I just unlocked the Explorer stuff. Well, that's Quartz, not Caterium. But yeah, I've done a, a number of things with Caterium. All right, so the question is going to be, am I going to be able to put a junction on it for here that's going to work? I think so, especially once I plug the pipeline in, I can take that out and then put a junction on it, and that'll be doable. Okay, so now let's get water. So how many pumps were we doing? And let's let's actually figure out the what was it uh, called? The uh, pipe pressure that Vega told us to use. I think it was Vega that was telling us about that. It's got a little clipping with this mine, and I'm not even gonna let that bother me even a tiny little bit. Do 
Could we have to do two for each of these guys? I have one, then it injects one, then one, then it injects one. Yes, so it is it is gonna be two for these guys, so it's gonna be right here. Oh encroaching others clearance. Ah oh, yeah, wow, that mine. I'm totally not gonna let that mine bother me. Well, that bothers me. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to do this one slightly differently then. Because we're right on top of the coal source here. I guess I can do it right here. Have it go down, then it over. I think what I'm going to have to do. It's going to be a little awkward. Let me figure this out first. Because it needs to go through here. But it's going to be coming from there. And that's fine. Alright. This is going to be vertical to horizontal. Or horizontal to vertical. Whichever that is. It's going to be like this. Does that look right? That looks good. And we're just going to have to noodle it over this way a little bit. So it can go through here. All right, plug it into right here. Very good. We'll place these glass foundations after we're done setting all this up. Okay. So this is the only one that is not going to be straight lined up, and it's because of that. And I'm totally not going to let that bother me. Totally not going to let it bother me. Totally. Do I sound convincing? I'm trying to convince myself. And I will place... A catwalk on the catwalk. There we go. So we have access to down here. Beautiful. It's good. All right. And then we inject the water. I have to remember where we inject the next water. So it starts here. One, two, three. So it's after the third one we inject another one. So the first guy is here. One, two, three. I inject another water thing right here, I believe. I think this is right. Give it to the dark side, Rand, and let it bother you. No! No, let the hate flow through you. No! Okay, so we got... So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we inject water for the last two. Let me, let me, let me, again, just make sure that I get this right. So, one, two, three, four. So, this starts here, and it goes one... One, two, three, four, five. And then we inject water after the fifth one. Six, seven, eight for the last three. That looks right. That looks right. So I need to have a the tube that goes into here, the junction is where we're going to inject water there. Okay, so now let's get the source of water, and then we can start plugging up. Uh, actually, since I have those correctly placed, let me get this guy going, too. So this one would be... right in front of it. We have that thing. Okay. Oh, I don't have a floor here. I didn't extend my floor. Come on, there we go. You want to save mad me, you'll let it bother you. <laughs> Come on, Sheev. Sheev Palpatine. Can't trick me. Somebody's been watching Kenobi, if you're making 
We were making uh, Anakin Skywalker references. Do we know how many episodes of that there's going to be? Because I really want to watch it, but I don't want to watch it until... I want to watch it, but I don't want to watch it. Until, uh, until it's... Until I can binge watch the whole thing. Static pressure. That was the one. Thank you, Vega. That was, that, was the, that was the word I was trying to think of earlier. Okay, horizontal to vertical. Lines up right there. And then this should go directly through here. Supposedly six episodes. Okay. This is the second one. Yep, yeah, that should be right. Supposedly. Supposedly. It's not perfectly straight, but I think the other one wasn't perfectly straight either, so this is fine. Again, totally not going to let it bother me. Totally. Why would I do this without a hole being there? Oh, there is there is a hole there? No, it's, it's further up. That's right. It's the... Uh, This one that's missing? I think that's right. Go like this. We go like this. There we go. And that gets us down into here. Beautiful. Alright, get our access point to do undergirding pipe maintenance for future Rand. Okay. But honestly, I'm hopeful I don't have to expand this anymore. I'm hoping this will be the last of the coal power we have to do. All right, so we got coal going. I just need to pump water into these guys. Uh, let me actually get the piping set up for these guys, too. So that would be... Um... And this is... Noodle? I think it's Noodle. Yeah. So that'll be this guy. Sideways. This guy. Sideways there. That guy there. Guy there. I want to get rid of the pipeline support there. Beautiful. And I believe that should be all of them. Oh god, I can't get over there. Noodle mode. Noodle now, noodle, noodle mode. There. Oh, I missed one here, didn't I? Oh, nope, I did. I just did a glass was in the way. I'll have to replace the glass after we do all this. But I knew that doing the piping with the glass in place would be kind of a pain. Oh, I missed this one. And that one's good, though. There. Okay, so that should be piping all set up. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Now all I got to do is inject the water and get the extractor set up. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have to get piping up to... Let's figure out where the pipes are going to come up to first. Right. I think what I had to do to make this work was put a... One of these guys here. Vertical to horizontal vertical, like that. There we go, that looks right. Hey, Tamac, with the 60 months in a row. My God, my friends. All, my friend, all hail Lord Chair. All hail Lord Tamac, man. What's up, sir? It's good to see you. My bot working? My bot's working, so I don't know why the bank guys didn't come up. All right, so that's one, and where's the other one need to come? 
Other one. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. You're my sugar pie. Sugar, baby. It's about right. About right. Give me a green line for something. Let's hope that works. I feel like that's too far over, but we'll find out. That is... No, I was lining up with something else. I want it to look like these other ones. Even though it's a slightly longer pipeline. Right here and right here. Something like this. Trying to make these at least look vaguely similar. Nice. You're doing good? Just chilling at work. That's awesome, my friend. Well, maybe not the work part, but just chilling is nice. Chilling like a villain. Like Macmillan. Like penicillin. Right, let's do that. We got two pipes that gotta go. So this first pipe is gonna be two water pumps, right? Two water pipes and then one injecting excess or the extra. So I need to get a two water pump, uh, two water extractor, and then a third to supplement. So let's get two kind of right next to each other over here. So water extractor. I've used up almost all of my rotors actually. Okay, Let's see encroaching other, not encroaching resource not deep enough. Ah, there it is. Well, that guy there. Hey, what's up, Tolotro? Good to see you. You are back yet again. Welcome. Glad to see you. Glad to have you back yet again. You have played Satisfactory. You haven't played it in forever. It all looks so different. It's such a good game, man. It's so good. I have such a good time with this game. There we go. I'm going to need one more pump, so I'm going to need to go get some rotors. But those guys, I should be able to plug in together. Let me go get the rotors. Uh, if it looks so different, I'm guessing you last played it before they added water mechanics. Because uh, coal power, I think a while ago, used to be you just put coal in generators. Now they have water. You have to pipe water into the coal generators to create steam power. And later on, you get into oil, which is you have to do oil and water for uh, for power. For oil powered steam power or something. But yeah. I love it, man. Every, every new update is more cool, fun stuff. Now... Okay, so we're gonna plug these two guys in together. Like this, and like this, right there. Uh, let's get powered these guys. There. Um, we'll get this pipe plugged in before I get the supplemental one here. So let's go this guy. R to auto. This guy's going to go over here. Oh. Oh, I'm going to need more copper, aren't I? Should have grabbed copper sheets. Should have known. Pipeline going through the floor. I'm perfectly fine with that. It's been years for you? Yeah. Well, they um, they recently put out an update or a talk about their next update, which is gonna they're gonna change the way they're developing the game because they uh, they said things like they don't think they're ever gonna finish the game if they continue releasing updates the way they have in the past. So they're actually gonna the next update is gonna be slightly different. And it's going to be like an exploration update, I think. But it was pretty cool to listen to the dev, the dev guy talk about how they're changing their uh, update cycle or whatever. Because I've had so much fun with this game. I'm really looking forward to whenever they do release the final product. Okay, so we need to get pumps on these guys. 
and I can see how far this goes. I'm going to start with it right there. I'm going to power you there. And let's see here. The main question is, what's the head lift going to look like? If I put a pump right there. Let me upgrade this power line so I can plug out uh, this power pole so I can plug into it. Uh, that. There. All right. What does your head lift looks like? Look like. I did it too on this guy. 16 point, 17 point something. All right, I'm gonna come back and look at that later. After it kind of evens itself out and check the head lift on this guy. 11.4, that one's good. So one more pump to plug into that pipe over there. How do I wanna place that? I'm gonna place it. Uh, over behind here. Pipe spaghetti is what we got. I honestly don't know how to make a bunch of water pumps and not have pipe spaghetti. But as Pie Boy always says, don't get upset. -y. Have some pipe spaghetti. Something like that. Okay. Probably about there is the best I'm going to get. Yeah, we'll call that good. Okay. Have this go under the other guys. Yeah, we'll go under here. There. Power line for that guy. There. Power line here for the pump that we're going to place. Okay, and this guy, I'm going to have this go, now I can go all the way underneath these guys, yeah. I'm just continuing my long tradition of pipe spaghetti from Factorio. True, true. Spaghetti's, pipe spaghetti or belt spaghetti is no new thing on this stream, that's for sure. Although I've been... Uh, one thing I talked about in this playthrough is I'm trying to be much more organized with things, but the there's two things that I'm not worried about spaghetti-wise, and that is long lines of conveyor belts from the source of the material back to my factory, and and even those I'm you know like like I got stackable poles over there, so they're not horribly misorganized. Um, that and then my pipes. I think there's one other thing, but I can't remember. Oh, power lines. And where I put my power lines, I'm not, you know, letting it bug me too much. Spaghetti power lines. So basically, power lines and... Um, conveyor belts and pipes are things I don't worry uh, so much about with spaghetti. All right, so let's see if this is going to be enough. I have a feeling it's not, but we'll find out. All right, let's check the one that I checked earlier. I have a feeling this is going to be a little over 20. 22, yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's do what we did on this guy, which is one at the bottom, and then one a little bit higher up. So that would be like this, and like this. And that should give us the head lift we need. Is there a better way to transport materials long distance other than super long belts? There are trains, which I haven't unlocked yet, but once I do unlock, I'm totally using. And there's like these transport trucks, but I've never liked the transport trucks. Uh, hmm, why is that guy not working? It's got plenty of head lift. Do we got water in here? Got water in there. Coming across. Over to here. Okay, I think the water just haven't gotten to this yet. I have a feeling this is going to be a similar thing, though. 
Effing trains? Yes, there are effing trains. What's up, Morplex? Um, last time I played the game, right as I was getting into trains and finished my first big train loop was when I had a major save crash and I lost a bunch of stuff and I quit. You just came here from the recording of my previous stream. You have a question. Is it possible to create a bot that automatically bans bots? Um, Twitch has a little bit of some tools like that. Oh, there are drones. I haven't even gotten the drones that Morflex is talking about. Um, there is some moderation tools that kind of help with that. But uh, you'd have to do your own research to, to know the exact answer to that. I don't know for sure. There's Blacklist and some other things, but... The, the people who program the bots are really good at getting around those things. This headlift is looking fine. Which is a little worrying to me because I'm using fewer pumps. So, make sure that this headlift is good. Yeah, this all looks fine. Full water. So I think that maybe, I think maybe we're good. I'm going to go upstairs and check if all my full generators are looking like they're getting going. 16.0. Looking good. We got water in the pipe. It's not full. That might be because it's actually getting up to storage up there. It's not going above 16.0. That looks good. May just have to start up another run of this as soon as you finish Shipbreaker. Uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. It's a fun game. I did. Is that has that been fully released? Okay. Um, why are you red? You're not getting enough water yet. So it's probably going to take us a bit. Let me make sure. So there's water in there. That's actually full. Okay, so that one looks great. This guy is slowly filling. Let's check my piping here. Alright, where's the start of the new pipe? It's right here. So you're you're full up on water. I think that maybe. Yeah. Uh yeah, I think it's it's a manifold system or whatever, so it's gonna take it a little bit to fill up. And let me check the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think. The last three. Where's the last three? Here. Um, it is 1.0. Nice. Use a bot that automatically bans the follow bots, but it's based on their chat, so if it changes, there's a chance you'll have to be updated. Yeah, I'm not really good at programming that kind of stuff, so I don't know how to make that happen. If anybody's got a bot for banning bots... You can talk to me off stream about it, because I'd be I'd probably be interested in using that. Right, I think these are starting to spin up. I think as these water things get filled and the the storage pressure, static pressure, whatever it's called, gets built up, this'll work. So I see some red guys over there and I think it's just because they're not currently getting water. Yeah, it's just not water. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think this is going to take a while to spin up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go sit by where the steel pipe stuff is being made. I'm going to take my first and only break. I'm only going to take one break today because after... I can't do the third portion of the stream that I normally would do because of uh, rehearsal I had tonight. So we're going to go get steel mining improved by a lot. So I'm going to grab these guys. There, a whole stack of those guys. That'll be enough for 10 Mark II miners. And really quickly, my friends, I'm going to stay up to restroom. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. If there's anybody new to the stream, hope you get the follow. All that good stuff. When we come back, we will improve some steel and actually get some steel automation not in a temporary place. Y'all rock. Be back in a bit, my friends. <laughs> 